I'm not really sure what it is you're up to currently, but I'm not going to complain. You're just walking naked through my fields. Hello, everyone. When we last saw our hero, he was working on some plumbing with Emily in a rosebush. Today, his adventure continues. And after following her home, he's decided to move on to greener pastures and someone without blue hair. So let's unleash him on the world and see what he gets up to. So far, not very exciting. He needs to recoup some energy. Hopefully he wakes up feeling flirty. If not, we're gonna get him there. Then maybe we'll go see Emily's sister. Word travels fast in Stardew Valley. Maru goggles. Hey, I heard you became friends with Emily Crazy. She's pretty cool. She's pretty crazy. Play your cards right and you could be next. Just come on over to Stardew Valley. This is where the love happens. Now everyone has been hiding above Pierre's store because this is one of the only bathrooms in existence. He's alive and feeling energized. Now it's just a matter of finding the next victim. And also breakfast. I can barely contain the excitement. What is this thing? You know what? I think it's a perfect day to meet Haley, who is Emily's sister. What could possibly go wrong with this? Let's go with a friendly introduction. I'm not sure if she understands humor, but I'm not sure if she understands much at all. Why is he walking up the stairs like that? Is something wrong with your back? Hello, Haley. Me and your sister have gotten nicely acquainted. All right, we're having a funny conversation. She seems into it. Let's give her a pep talk. Harvey, Harvey, you're killing the mood. Get out of my shot. We're going to get her as pumped up as I pumped her sister. This is great. We're definitely still getting the whole town congregating here. Hopefully that changes soon thanks to my added bathroom, but we'll see. I'm going to have to keep making tweaks as we get through this little adventure. And it's going to take some time. We should also make bets on who's going to be the first to die. My money's on Harvey for some reason. He just doesn't seem to be doing it for himself. Maru, once again, don't have time for you. I'll come visit you when I want. I couldn't help but notice we were sitting on a bed, and I am an opportunist after all. If I play my cards right, this could be a lot of fun. And here we go! Eh, your sister tastes better, but you'll work. You know what? I think I want you to be my first girlfriend in The Sims. That is a pretty bold move on my part. And then maybe we'll go talk to your sister too, because that also seems like a valid option. Alright. New girlfriend. That took five minutes. Perfect. I think we're right where we want to be. Haley is all the way pink. She is my girlfriend. We're in a very flirty mood. So that could only mean hello, Abigail. And everyone else because everyone lives in the same room with each other. But that's okay. We might as well get the next one going while we're here. Why wait? Alright, enough playing in town. Despite the fact that it has a romantic aura about it, we're coming back to my farm. And I'm bringing both sisters with me because I can finally. Now they can compete for my love and attention, and the loser is going to get pushed into a volcano. But before I do anything, everyone's feeling in pretty rough shape. Haley's having a personal emergency and has to leave now. I guess Haley's the winner by default. Who is this guy? I don't want to talk to you. I want Emily, who's rushed into my house. My girlfriend left, but her sister stayed, so that's almost perfect. Pretty sure I get everything I could possibly need in this house to survive for now. Except for maybe a functioning kitchen. But if you haven't already seen it, this is my beautiful farm. Look at him. I leave him alone and he gets flirty. I don't even have to try anymore. He's just going to do this on his own. I think I see a problem with my bed. I think I need a bigger one for this to really work. But we're going to try. We'll just play stack him. She's willing to stay over. She just might have to sleep on the carpet. Which, to be fair, is probably at least half an inch thick, so she'll be alright. It's better than most of my spouses get. You know what? I think I want this one as my girlfriend too. So we're going to go ahead and make that happen. Because that's a thing. Oh, and back come the handcuffs. That was really what closed the deal. You mentioned handcuffs and she's in. Alright. No? Both sisters are my girlfriend. This is gonna get really weird really fast and I'm really excited about that. Alright, just had to make a little change to my house. Move the carpet, bigger bed. This should work a lot better. Oh, we're gonna have a baby with her too. Might as well get started. Now I'm not a big fan of the blue hair thing, so we'll see how the baby turns out. If there's blue hair, it's going in the pond. Oh, who's this guy? Uh, if you'll excuse me, I'm trying to make a baby. Oh, I think it's a vampire. I'm going to go ahead and not let you in the door, but you hang out there and do whatever it is you want to do. The door is see-through, but I'm down with that if you are. By trying for a baby, I meant eat frozen peas while Emily sleeps. I'm pretty sure that's how it works anyway. I wonder if I can make Emily answer the door. Oh, he's gone anyway. Next time a vampire comes, I'm going to make Emily answer it. Okay, well, I'm going to call it a night here. Uh, good night, Emily. Thanks for sharing the bed. Really appreciate that. Uh, Emily? I'm not really sure what it is you're up to currently, but I'm not going to complain. You're just walking naked through my fields. It's like a dream come true. I didn't even know this was actually possible. Though I have no idea what she's actually doing. She left. She took her clothes off and left my farm. Normally that's kind of the opposite of what I picture happening, but at least something happened. Well, if that's the only naked person to walk off my farm this episode, I'll be doing alright. 
Mumps, it's time to get up and do stuff now. Hey, look, Emily texted me. I heard you and Haley started dating. Congratulations on landing a new girlfriend. Thank you. I've got two now, one of which is you. And uh, actually, that whole naked thing really confirms your craziness. Who is this? Get off my farm. Invite neighbors in, rude introduction. I want to go yell at this person, but they can just stay and talk to my bush. And that is exactly what it sounds like. I don't want to talk to them. And today we're a new guy. Gonna watch some TV? Everything is good, except for our fun. Our fun levels are dangerously low. A little TV is gonna fix that. However, we're not gonna stay here and watch TV because it's upsetting mumps. So we're gonna take him and put him in his natural environment, which is somewhere out in a town stalking people. But where should we head today? We have Stardew Valley, which of course has all the bachelor bachelorettes who live there. It has a nice romantic aura, so that always helps. We could go see Elliot, who's got his little cabin by the ocean. That might be nice. We can go see Leah. She has her farmhouse way down there by Marnie's ranch. We have the carpenter shop with Sebastian and Maru. Maru keeps texting me. I did actually meet her yet. We didn't see the interaction because it wasn't that interesting because she's not that interesting. We could also go see Marnie's ranch, which just has Shane because no one wants to live with him. I want to see Leah. Leah's always a fan favorite. She's usually the first person I marry because of geographic convenience. In the Sims world, it doesn't really matter though because everyone's an equal distance away. Oh, and for some reason, I brought Haley too. I'm not sure if she's going to hang out here, but she's here. And this is the current version of Leah's cabin. I haven't met Leah yet, so we're going to do that right now. I forgot to move her mailbox. That's all right. Uh, Haley, you can just, uh, yep, do whatever it is you do. I'm going to go over here. She is my girlfriend, so I don't think she'll get into too much trouble. Leah is on her laptop, definitely doing art stuff. Her cabin looks quite good, though. I like it. And I do believe this is a fully functioning cabin. It looks like it has everything we could want. Uh, Leah, I'm in your house, so if you want to talk. Ooh, flirty introduction. I am feeling flirty. This family tree is going to run out of branches really fast. Wait, is she playing games? She is. All right, she's my new favorite. Confirmed. Leah's the best. Leah, you should probably know we need to make this quick because my girlfriend is outside somewhere. It's only a matter of time before she finds the door and then figures out how to use it. You know what? I bet she'd love a rose. I think that's an artistic thing. Here's a rose. I'm an artist. I'm a pickup artist. Which is more of an artist than Leah's ever going to be. Here you go. Perfect. Uh-oh. Look and figured out how to use the door. Well, to be fair, Haley, we haven't really woohooed yet, so we haven't really confirmed anything yet. Rocket ship heart. Haley has a rocket ship heart. Uh oh. I think this is going bad for everyone involved. I don't think I'm enjoying this exchange due to Haley watching me. That's okay, I'm still gonna go with this. Leah's better than uh, Haley any day of the week. Haley, you just sit there and play video games. Uh, we're gonna go do stuff in the corner. And now this is happening. The mind of a sim is a wonderful thing. All right, well, on that note, I'm going to play video games. Leah's going to do push-ups and Haley's going to stand there and be mad. Receiving a text from Emily. I got this scoop that some crazy party is happening at the bluffs right now. Want to check it out? I kind of do. Have you put your clothes back on yet? Yeah, let's go check that out. Uh, uh, select Sims to travel with. We're going to bring uh, Leah along because we're making good progress with her. It's going to be a big crazy party at the bluffs. Emily may or may not have put her clothes back on yet, and I'm excited to see the result of that. Emily appears to have put her clothes on, but we have two of them here and also some randoms. I don't believe these are any Stardew Valley characters. All right, we have a rave going on out in the woods. Uh, that's not Leah. Focus, mumps, focus. I think we already have a baby on the way with that one, so we need this one. Or this one, the one serving up the drinks. And she's got talent too. I think I like this one. But uh, you're not a Stardew Valley character, so I don't know if that's allowed. Uh-oh. Uh, I think Leah's gonna need a bit of a timeout because I said something really stupid, so we're going back to Emily. Now, if you'll excuse us, we've got some business to take care of over here. It is a dance party after all, so we're gonna go dance in the bush for a bit. This is how you have a dance party. And this one's gonna end with a baby, so that's gonna add a new dynamic to this whole process. And that was okay. Now let's go back to Leah. She might be over the embarrassment by now. Oh, look who's tired. Look who fell asleep. It must be hard being an artist all day doing nothing. She really tuckered herself out. Well, that's okay. She'll wake up recharged, refreshed, and a new person. Since you won't let me leave, you're going to have to wake up and entertain me. Hope you don't mind. But you've got nothing better to do, and I know that for a fact. Bright and day. Let's make you feel better about waking up. Leveled up the old charisma skill, so this is getting easier and easier. Not that it's really much of a challenge so far. All these sims are pretty easy. And this is happening right now. We're just kind of staring at each other. Interesting. She's inching closer and farther away. Uh, Mums, if you want to go ahead and do something at any point, feel free because this is pretty much a sign. I would say that that went well, but given the facts, I don't think it really did. Uh, she might just have to go to the bathroom, though. That might be her only problem. 
as she wanders off into the darkness, never to be seen again. And I'm okay with that because there's more in town. 